What's up everybody? Well, I got another video for you guys today and today we're gonna just take a look at the laptop and how it's held up over these eight months of use. So why don't I disconnect some of these ports so I can pick it up and show you guys how it's held up. All right, we shut the laptop off and whatnot. So figured let's take a quick close-up view of the keyboard here. As you can see, all the keys are, none of the keys have like worn off or anything. I took off most of the stickers besides these two, besides these two guys. Here's the front. No necks or nothing like that. I'm pretty careful. I'm almost overly careful with my electronics. Shut that. We got some fingerprints and whatnot, but I mean, that's just going to happen. I wipe, used to wipe it off like all the time. Got a little bit of dust, surface stuff. We can just wipe that off real quick. But here's the back. Well, besides having some dust here and there, I think it looks pretty good. Speaking of dust, I'll probably be making a video soon about how to clean this laptop. Here's all the different corners. You can see all the USB ports and whatnot. So there we go. As you can see, it doesn't have any major blemishes on it or whatever. It's held up pretty good. Like I said, though, I am pretty careful with my laptops, so I don't know how well it would stand up to somebody who isn't as careful as me, I guess is what I'm saying. But hey, who knows? That's just like an infinite question. It all depends on the person. Anyway, though, now let's go look through all the ports and whatnot for people who haven't seen any of my videos yet, and might, this might be their first one, so let's just look at all the ports. Okay, on the left side here, we have a vent for, I'm pretty sure this is the GPU side. You got two USB 3.2 ports there. You have a 3.5 millimeter head bone jack right there. Moving on to the back here. Got another vent for the GPU. You got your power port right there, your gigabit Ethernet right there, HDMI. Now be careful with this one. This only connects to the APU. So fine if you just want to watch a movie or maybe play some emulated games or something like that, but this is the one you want, the USB C port. This one connects directly to the 6800M, and that's how you get maximum performance if you connect it to an external monitor like me. Then you've got one more USB 3.2 port right there, vent for the CPU. This side's kind of boring. All you've got is your CPU vent right there and a little bit of the light bar. Continuing our little exploration thing, you've got your power button right up here. You got your volume buttons right up here, mute button. FN key and this button will go through your fan profiles and then if you hit FN key and this it'll take you directly to the uh, ROG Strix uh, page. I'm pretty sure. We'll hit the, all the buttons and show you what all they do once we turn it out, on. And other than that you've got your little WSAD which they made clear which is kind of neat. It differentiates it from every other laptop so that's kind of cool. It doesn't really help or do anything but I think it's neat. Anyway though now let's hook this thing all back up and turn it back on. I almost forgot. Here is the bottom. You've got your two speaker grills right here. And then you got your ventilation, which there's not a lot of. But this is where it sucks all of its air in. I feel like they could have made these holes a little bit bigger. As a matter of fact, heck, I wouldn't mind trying to just pop this part out. But I'm going to wait to do shit like that till it's out of warranty which isn't going to be too much longer. I think I've got till August. That's when I bought it. I think this only has a year warranty. It might have two. We'll see. But I also wanted to redo the uh, liquid metal my way because I feel like there's a couple of degrees that we could shave off. All right, now let's hook it back up and have a look at the OS and everything. Okay, so before we turn this thing on, just figured I'd let you guys know all the ports and everything work, even though they get worked really hard over here. I'm constantly unplugging USBs and whatnot and the USB-C port over and over and over again for this YouTube channel and everything still works tip-top. 
I mean, I know that stuff's supposed to last, but most people probably wouldn't have done that many at least USBs. I know the power cord would probably get unplugged a lot. It's a laptop. Everybody plugs it in and unplugs it when they leave. But all the other ports, I doubt people are using them quite as much as me. But just so you guys know, they all last. They've all been left withstanding the test of time, as I'm trying to say. I don't do this stuff scripted, so sometimes it's hard for me to know what I want to say when I want to say it. Anyway, though, now let's hit the power button and get a quick boot test. See how long it takes to post after all this time. And this is Windows 11 now, too. So there we go. It had its little logo. And there we go. Here we are, and now we're in Windows. So now let us go and move the camera a little closer and look over some of the other stuff. All right, we've got ourselves our little CPU Z window here. This laptop has a Ryzen 9 5800XX. That's its code name. Max TDP 45 watts. It's seven nanometer. Here's all the other information. It's stuck at 3.2 because I have it on silent, which ha um, my laptop turns off turbo altogether. Now we can move on over to our graphics card here. It's an RX 6800M, Navi 22, also 7 nanometers. Here's the 64 ROMPs and TSM or TMUS. There's the pixel fill rate and texture fill rate, memory type, bus width, the memory size, the bandwidth. There's the driver, and here's all the clocks. And then we can go over here. This just says uh, we're going to come back to this one mostly later for temps, but just wanted to show you guys what it is now before we start all these tests. So let's just roll down. There's the uh, Ryzen 9 5900HX. I wonder if there's a way to make OBS record better. This kind of looks like crap quality. But anyway, there's the rest of the specs here. Here we are at our 6800M now. And all right, let's move on. Now we're going to have ourselves a quick look at all of the modes here and also take a look at my settings but I just wanted to show you guys this screen real quick before we do you've got your windows there's silent here's performance you got your turbo I don't think I clicked on windows but yeah we can click on windows and now let's hop on over to manual which if you do this they're just basically saying they're not responsible, but all you have to do is tell them you weren't overclocking. Play stupid. They're not going to be able to know. Anyway, here's my settings here for GPU and CPU. I got lucky, and mine's completely stable with both of those maxed. And here's my fan profile. It's basically 80 for my CPU and GPU. I both have it, or I have it set up to hit 80 or 100% fan at 80. See, uh, here's my GPU again at 80. It just hits 100% no matter what. So now let's move on. Here's also a really quick look at my Radeon settings. This is the only thing I've messed with really in the whole app was I came in here to performance tuning and then I hit overclock CPU. And also this is on by default, but this is where smart access memory is. Also decided to run a couple of benchmarks here. So here's time spy, a graphic score and CPU score, our estimated game performance. Now let's see, we can scroll down a little bit and just look at all this stuff real quick. If I scroll too fast, obviously you can just pause. Okay, now let's move on. Ransom Cinebench R23 as well. And for multi, we got 13,124. Single, we got 1,421. And here's where it stacks up on the list with single. And then if we go up here, we can look at multi as well. 13,000 again. Pretty damn good. All right, moving on. Brand Geekbench 5 as well. For a single core, we got 1474 and multi 8, 8557. 
Now we can also just scroll down through here real quick. Look at all the different things. And then we'll move on and look at the CPU or GPU benchmark and Geekbench as well. And here's the OpenCL score for our GPU, our 6800M. Scroll down here towards the bottom. And all right, now we move on. Now let's have us a quick look at all of the temps and clocks of everything before we wrap this video up. CPU got a little toasty, but never throttled or anything, so that is okay. Keep scrolling down here. The drives stay pretty cool, actually. You gotta figure out how to make the quality on this OBS better. At least I made it up a constant square where you can see everything finally. It was just user error like I thought. And here's our temps and stuff for 6800M and our clocks and wattages and whatnot. And there's the battery wear so far after all this time, 8 months, we've only got 4% wear on it. And alright! Let's wrap this video on up, shall we? Well, all right, guys. I think that's about a wrap for this video. And so far, the laptop's been great. Hasn't been giving me any problems, really. I mean, the weirdest problem I've ever had is every once in a while, it won't update the SDK from the Armory crate. I think I'm having that problem right now, but then I wait like a week or two, a new SDK comes out, and then it installs just fine. So I don't know what the problem with that is, but just figured I'd be honest. Other than that, I don't have games crashing. I don't have the thing restarting. I don't have any problems like that at all and the CPU gets hot but even though it gets hot I've never had it do any actual damage that makes it not work properly as you can see I've even edited half the videos for this channel on that laptop before I got the other uh, computer all you know upgraded and ready to do editing now I do most of my editing on the main computer but every once in a while I'll still do do it on this computer but anyway though great laptop still even today I recommend this laptop it's a great bargain and heck it'll probably come down in price it was a bargain at sixteen hundred and fifty dollars if it comes down and is like thirteen hundred dollars that's an absolute steal for a laptop that on an external display can compete with a 3080 uh mobile and everything but ray tracing but anyway i'm rambling i hope you guys enjoyed this little eight month look at how the laptop's been doing and until the next video peace out guys